Hi guys, welcome to the video. So this is the BMW F800 GS. I've uh, got a few issues that I'm trying to do, but one thing that does seem to be a common issue is with the uh, antennae circuit, circle, um, stopping the vehicle from starting. So I'm just using process of elimination. Obviously I've got a wiring issue there. This is a stolen recovered bike, so uh, just trying to get it going. It had the EWS code. I'll put up a screenshot of what I had come up on the display. Um, I've replaced the battery um, and then bought a new one of these. Uh, I'll show you the part and part number. So there's the part number. I uh, actually got it cheaper from BMW, uh, main agent, 42 quid, 11. Uh, these were about £55 on eBay, so hence the main agent. The only thing I did have to invest in was the uh, security tool. There it is there to obviously remove the two nuts. One each side, there and there. So I was just slacking them off. Uh, and then I'll be able to remove the unit. Obviously that plug was already removed. Still trying to figure out where this one goes. Uh, obviously I've just put that connector on it to stop the wires touching for now. So here it is removed. At least I've found the mystery of uh, my other two wires, these two. Um, it looks like they've come from there. And then the other connector is just there. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have to take this part off so I've just removed these two tiny T10 torques, it seems to be. I can't even see it, the tiniest torques you can find, basically. So them two off, and then hopefully this should slide forward or something. Probably have to use two hands to get it off. So let's just ping that off. So yeah, you literally just uh, lift it off. Uh, that comes out, my one seemed a little bit sticky. So it's off, there's the old one. Stick that over there and let's put a new one on. I don't actually know if this part was faulty. I did have the EWS code, so I've just done it anyway. So yeah, obviously that's a relatively easy job. Obviously you may need to make sure you've got this tool uh, and then the little tiny torques, two screws back in and it just push fits on top. There you go.